Not a YouTuber. Just like making videos. And um, it's going to be part two to, you know what I'm saying, uh, race and IQ debunked. Talking about the libertarian retard. Now, the, the concept of my last video went over a lot of people's heads. And a lot of people do not have the ability, don't have the ability to properly process information. But hence, in that video I scratched the surface, you know, talked about the IQ test, where it comes from. Now, me personally, I, I believe the IQ, the concept of IQ test is a, it's a lot of it is, is, is a hyperboil, it's hogwash, it's not a good uh, tool to measure intelligence and so forth, and especially when it's created by Westerners, you know, uh, to, to uh, measure intelligence and so forth, so it's, they're, they're going to go by their standards. You know, and um, when dealing with the, the, the libertarian retard, you have to understand, like one guy left me a comment, you know, some dude, he left me a comment and he says, I'm arguing opinions, I'm arguing facts with opinion. When, you know what I'm saying, the whole concept of IQ and measuring people's IQ, um, I'm like, that's still, um, it's very flimsy and so forth. And it should be challenged. Now, I do feel like, you know, for a lot of the uh, the racial realists and white su supremacists, you know, that's their, uh, their last testing ground for black people. You know what I mean? It's, they're going to, um, uh, you know what I'm saying, hold us to this standard. Like, oh, we, we got this IQ test. We got this IQ test. And over time, you know, things have changed. Like, for instance, you know, back in the, um, the olden days, you know, I, I, um, they used to say that those with European background and Jewish, European and Jewish ancestry, which I thought I thought they was one and the same, had the highest IQs. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Asians weren't even put into the equation, and then later on, I guess somehow they said, okay, well, well, you know, the Asians have high IQs, hence. Um, you know what I mean, to try to prove themselves that, hey, they're, they're not racist or whatever. They don't think white people are, are superior and so forth because of the, uh, the Asians with their higher IQs. Now, the libertarian retard, my main video is to really get destruct him. It's not even more so focusing on the merits of the IQ test, you know, and so forth. Because I don't think there's no possible way you can... Uh, measure the, um, the, you know I'm saying, the complexity of the human brain, intelligence. I think it's, um, libertarian realists is trying to say that it's genetics, that, you know, and more so not environment, which even some eugenists <laughs> will have a problem with what he's saying and so forth. And libertarian realists are is saying that, you know, black people are just genetically, mentally um, at a lower capacity. So it doesn't matter how much elevating black people do or how we uh, get our family together or whatever, we're still going to be in this position. Hence, the reason why black people are in this position is because of our low IQ and not so because of what the white men did to us. You see, that's the thing. And we can't evolve from this position or elevate from our current condition is because of our low IQ. Now, I had some guy on a comment section talking about why are you going to argue opinions, uh, argue facts with opinions? Why not just, you know what I'm saying, work on our situation? Hence, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, the, the whole concept, you know what I mean, went completely over his head. He had no idea what he was talking about when he came into our comment section. Hence, a lot of these black dudes, a lot of these bootleggers, they want to embrace these hardcore stats by white people and say, hey, this is realistic. We have to be real, real with ourselves. Hence, <laughs> my, my, my thing is, you know what I'm saying, as I've stated before, uh, the IQ test is, you know, is hogwash. The, the libertarian retard is a moron, you know, someone who's living in the denial, who claims to be, you know what I'm saying, he's realistic. <laughs> Let's take a look at the libertarian realist. 
Let's look at his avatar or whatever, his thumbnail, his picture. It's of Thomas Jefferson. And, you know, and they claim Thomas Jefferson was a libertarian. But, you know, he was known for um, his affair with Sally Hemings. You know what I'm saying? He, I'm like, he, dude was a freaking pedophile. I can understand that they had certain, um, you know what I'm saying, that their uh, standards back then were different of a man dating a 14-year-old girl. But still, I, I don't think that it was looked at as, um, it was looked in a favorable light, you know, that uh, uh, dignified men in high societies didn't marry females of such a lower age and so forth. Even though I know people have done it and it may have not been against the law, but still, Thomas Jefferson was, uh, uh, you know, so was a married man when he was messing around with Sally Hemings. And I'm pretty sure he kept that relationship somewhat of a secret. So I feel that he is someone of deplorable morals. So hence, that's one of the reasons why the libertarian retard, you know what I'm saying, used his, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, used his uh, portrait uh, of Thomas Jefferson as his avatar or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying, the libertarian retard has many flaws in his argument. And ultimately, he's a white racist and so forth. Now, let, let me show you this clip. So a video released by the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel purports to show a 76-year-old white man confronting a 13-year-old black boy who was his neighbor. And apparently, the white man shot the 13-year-old black boy, although it's not clear from the video itself that, that happened, but that's what it says did happen. And apparently the uh, man was acting in retaliation because the 13 year old had burglarized him and been an all around troublemaker. But now in this clip right here, he's justifying the shooting of this young 13 year old boy um, by this elderly man. Now, he states that this young dude was a, a robber or whatever, a, a, a burglar who terrorized the neighborhood and get, was somewhat getting his just due. In so many words, that's what he was getting to. But now we're going into the, um, the whole IQ thing, you know, and he feels that blacks have low IQ, don't have the ability to use common sense, don't have the ability to, to think rational and so forth and, and doing in their actions. Now you see this man, this white man, you know what I'm saying, who's supposed to have a uh, high IQ or whatever. Now he didn't think rational. Even if this kid was a burglar or whatever and was terrorizing him, for him to shoot him on camera and broad daylight like that, I'm like, why couldn't this guy call the police, gather up evidence to get this kid put in juvenile and so forth? That he reacted in such a, 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 a very brutal way. That hence, if a black guy was to do it, libertarian realist will have a different opinion. He has, he'll have a different assertion. Also, with the uh, the libertarian retard, uh, he feels that you know, saying like the American Renaissance, a bigger brain means higher intelligence. He shows that in his charts, um, you know, and he and Neanderthals, the Paleolithic man has a, if not a, the, the, uh, the same cranial capacity of a, uh, a modern man, or some even say that his brain, their brains were bigger. So hence, there is no scientific data, you know, stating that a, a larger brain leads to, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, higher intelligence. Now, especially as we um, move along, and as we progress, so to say, there was a guy who uh, put a uh, video together. He's called um, uh, Jack Flynn, I think his name was. Um, um, James Flynn. Uh, and he says that how we have uh, um, higher IQ than our um, grandparents. That human beings are becoming more smarter, especially in an industrialized world, and that we can figure out more of the greater scientific mysteries and so forth. So our intelligence has become more and more uh, streamlined. So I, I think about um, gadgets such as the cell phone, you know what I'm saying, or our video game systems. How, how um, certain technology can be made smaller and, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, 
can occupy, you know what I'm saying, you can have powerful technology occupying a smaller space and so forth. So hence, us human beings, you know, um, that, you know, we can have, you know what I'm saying, with, with, with our, our intelligence can be more comp compressed. It doesn't have to uh, occupy, occupy a larger brain space, you know, as so to say. So <laughs> hence, you know what I'm saying, a larger brain, you know what I'm saying, equals higher intelligence is completely redundant. Now, also going into the, uh, the uh, libertarian realist. Now, the libertarian realist is, is putting black people at the bottom. You know what I mean? I'm like, if you've seen his chart that sub-Saharan Africa. Now, now hold on, before I get too curry away, let's go into it, you know what I'm saying, the IQ test and the measurements and so forth. That um, uh, 100 is considered normal. 85 is considered subnormal, which is the I, which is the average IQ of the African American, and he feels that the average IQ of the Sub-Saharan African is 74, meaning he admits that um, African Americans, you know, what I'm saying, have a higher IQ because their interactions with white people. I, I don't know, but consider uh, uh, 70 is just so far below standard that it's pretty much almost. Uh, Mental retardation, you know what I'm saying? 50 and below, yeah, you definitely um, have a learning disability. But hence, people are trying to link I IQ with crime <laughs> and so forth. A lower IQ means you're more prone to criminal behavior. Now, we know that people with the 50 IQ, the, uh, you know what I'm saying, men suffer from mental retardation, you know what I'm saying? They're not criminals, you know what I'm saying? Most of these people are very nice. They're very friendly. You know what I'm saying? They're not likely to uh, rob a bank and so forth. So I guess you get to a higher level of IQ, but not to that of normal. Then you become a criminal. You know what I'm saying? Your IQ gets higher above normal, then you're not a criminal. So, see, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense when you think about it. It's mind boggling, you know what I'm saying? It makes my brain hurt and, and so forth. Now, um, also, as I've said, the new racial realist today is literally trying to put black people at the um, the bottom and say we just are are just our IQs are just so far below standard, and that's how we result to uh, criminal activity and so forth. Now, there's a guy. Um, his name is Lu uh, Louis Tenard. Louis Tenard. Uh, one of those. He's a psychologist, you know what I'm saying? He's a eugenist um, from, you know what I'm saying, the early 1900s. Now, and he did a study. And um, uh, to rank the IQ of blacks and Spanish Americans and Spanish Indians and so forth. And what he got, he got um, satisfactory to, um, to below normal. You know what I'm saying? Meaning good to below, not, not a consistency there. And he states that, you know what I'm saying, these people will be good for workers, you know what I'm saying, you know, so you want to put them in the job class and so forth. So hence, he put, you know what I'm saying, Indians, Mexicans, and black people in the same boat, saying that they have, you know what I'm saying, same level of intelligence, and, um, you know what I'm saying, white people are, you know what I'm saying, of higher intelligence. But he also, when he did his studies on white people and so forth, he found out that those uh, children, you know, averaging, you know what I'm saying, uh, 140 to 150 comes from families um, that are of professionals and of um, highly skilled uh, people and so forth. Meaning, yeah, your um, uh, family structure, you know what I'm saying, your environment also um, has an effect on your IQ. You know what I'm saying? Intelligent people give, and you know what I'm saying, give birth to an um, intelligent children, you know, and so forth. That, um, so white people of a of a of a better lineage, you know, of educated parents will have higher IQ than white children uh, born to uh, 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 parents who have uh, uh, lower job skills and so forth. Which this goes against libertarian libertarian realists is just trying to say that white people in just in general have a higher IQ. That if we can put this, and I'm saying if we put this IQ test. To white people in, in the higher tax bracket who have access to better education 
know what I'm saying, to those white people who go to poor public schools and so forth. Now, I understand the concept of, of the IQ test is to test someone's common sense. You know what I'm saying, how good they, how good they can use their rational mind and, uh, and, and solve problems quickly is that it's not a, a test that you can study for and so forth. But still, why is it that uh, parents, you know what I'm saying, of an edu uh, uh, educational background, you know what I'm saying, have offspring that score higher on this IQ test? If you believe in this IQ test, you know what I'm saying, going by the rules of the IQ test. But as I said before, IQ test is complete boulder dash. But hence, L Louis Tenard has put pretty much black people and Indians in the same boat saying that, that we have the same uh, uh, level of intelligence. But hence the libertarian realists are saying that blacks are even lower than that of Indians and Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? The liber I don't know. I feel like the libertarian realist, maybe uh, he walked in uh, uh, <laughs> one, one night and he got home uh, early from his job at Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen or whatever. You know, and, and uh, found his wife <laughs> a fucking a black dude, and that's why he just, you know what I'm saying, he has a lot of angst towards black people, you know what I'm saying. And, and same thing with the uh, American Renaissance, it's, it's black people. They're not even focusing on the, the IQ of, uh, of Mexicans or whatever. Even though black people, African Americans, graduate, you know what I'm saying, uh, colleges at a rate higher than that of Mexican Americans, and so forth. Now, you can look this up. Now, but still, going by the rules of, of these um, IQ tests um, and, and denial, because his whole thing is that, you know what I'm saying, these people are denying, you know what I'm saying, the race deniers. They're denying that, you know, black people are just functioning at a low level that you never ever be able to close the, um, the, the intelligence gap. But there's no <laughs> white especially racist whites they're they're in uh, <laughs> they're in big denial you know I'm talking about the the fact that even if you was to remove black people from America altogether that all their problems would be uh, um, solved that they won't have any social ills to complain about you know as I said in my last video you know what I'm saying you have uh, greed you have pollution and then what about the white man's hegemony I'm like, does his high IQ uh, uh, equate to him, you know what I'm saying, massacring people and killing people, you know, uh, throughout the uh, centuries to gain power, and that he used lies and deception as well to undermine people, breaking treaties with the Native Americans, you know, and so forth. I'm like, why are they in such a denial of that? So um, if he feels that... Uh, like in Africa, <laughs> with Sub-Saharan Africa, we feel the average IQ is 74, and that's why people uh, kill each other and so forth. So why have the uh, Europeans resulted in, in, in so much uh, uh, massacre, you know, and, and macabre, you know, through their development? You know, of course the Europeans feel a mild manner now because they got what they want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like when Genghis Khan uh, uh, and the Mongoloids took over Russia, took over Eastern Europe. Once they were sat <laughs> once they were satisfied with the land they acquired, you know what I'm saying, they kind of calmed down. <laughs> so that's that's the thing. So yeah, yeah, I'm like it's um yeah the the whole situation has got me flustered. And still, um, when it comes to d denying things, you know what I'm saying, me, um, I, I do come to the realization that blacks and whites will always have friction. I come to the realization that there won't uh, be this black utopia ever. You know what I'm saying? Of black people separating themselves from white people and everybody get their own business. You know what I'm saying? I always insert um, uh, human error in the equation and so forth. And I'm not going to be in deny that um, black women, you know what I'm saying, or general or just having all these kids out at red lots, you know, females having four kids by four <laughs> uh, baby fathers, you know what I'm saying, that, that this won't, uh, uh, this is not beneficiary to society, and some of the blame falls on women, so I'm not going to be in deny in, uh, in those aspects uh, uh, as well, but um, that's all I want to say, um, thanks for watching, and Sally Forth.